Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa reiterated government's continued support to rice farmers and fisher folk in Region 2. During a recent meeting where he called for transparency among these stakeholders as government prepares to roll out promised relief measures. We will have a, 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 a non-partisan committee, a committee that is that will be elected by the farmers and I hope that this represents the farmers from Region 2, you all here, so that at the end of the exercise we will not have the same issue that have we keep raising with the flood relief. You all know the problem. I'm hoping that we can capture every single person who are rice farmers and the, also the specific um, acreage they are cultivating. Minister Mustafa noted that rice farmers will benefit from $250 million worth of fertilizer to be used for the upcoming crop, and the committee comprising farmers from the various areas are tasked with compiling a list of beneficiaries. He made it very clear that fertilizer will be distributed, not cash. So the fertilizer will be distributed directly to the farmers. We are not talking about giving cash. This will cause serious problems. Forget about cash. Now, for example, if you decide that you have one, three dealers of fertilizer, distributor of fertilizers and the SQO, we're looking for the cheapest so that we can get more. Meanwhile, during his meeting with fisher folk from the region, Minister Mustafa noted that a study is currently being done to determine the cause of the low catches. However, this is not only affecting Guyana. Minister Mustafa said that committees will be established at every landing site and the list of fisher folk will be available for examination at the landing sites. And we will take the entire month of June to verify the names. And I want to warn that we should not try to smart the system. We should not try to smart the system. I just want to define how we'll, the fishery department will work to ensure that at every landing site, every landing site, we get a small committee to verify the names. We got five major um, landing sites on the Eskimo Coast, and we got about 16 all together. We got a number, some boats normally come. So I am suggesting that we do it at every landing site so that we can have transparency. I already learned. This process, he added, should be completed in two weeks, after which the verification process will commence ahead of the payout, scheduled to commence in July. Thank you.